Welcome to Chavla's Kitchen. Today we are going to do a very very fine appetizer. We are going to make it quick. We are making stuffed mushroom and we are going to stuff it with very healthy stuff. No potatoes, no breadcrumbs. We are going to use whatever veggies we have at home and going to create an awesome snack which is healthy and quick. So let's get started with stuffed mushroom. I am using big mushrooms. I am using actually mushrooms from Sam's Club. You can get any kind of mushroom. Just make sure you get the big mushrooms and I've got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mushrooms. So what I have done is I take a mushroom and kind of remove the stem and then with a little spoon I'm basically making more room for the filling. I'm going to scoop out some of the mushroom and we are going to use this mushroom. So I have my mushrooms ready. These have been washed, dried and then scooped out and all the stems have been chopped here. Along with that I am going to use some onion, about 2 tablespoons of finely chopped onion. I have got some red pepper, yellow pepper, green pepper and basic condiments. I am using salt, I am using parsley flakes, I am using oregano leaves and you can use any stir fry sauce. If you don't have that, don't worry, you can use just a regular ketchup and the hot sauce so instead I'm going to, to skip this and I'm going to use this to show you it also works fine the mushroom stem mixture is also ready so I'm going to use some butter and we're going to saute all these veggies and then we're going to fill and bake so I'm melting about two tablespoons of butter and the very first thing I want to drop is I want to drop my crunchy stuff so that would be my onion and peppers all the peppers and onion goes first and we are going to saute this until we have translucent onions we don't want to overdo it we want it crispy so it has been couple minutes now i'm going to add my mushroom stems so after adding some basic salt i'm going to add parsley leaves about one tablespoon or as per your liking and then oregano leaves again about a teaspoon or as per your liking so going to give it a good mix see how colorful over stuffing is looking already I'm going to add sauces I'm going to add some chili sauce and some tomato ketchup give it a good mix if you don't have chili sauce or ketchup Feel free to use any sauce, washer sauce, stir fry sauce, any sauce you like can go into it. So we'll give about a couple more minutes of saute and then we are done with our mixture. We are going to let it cool and stuff our mushrooms. It's that easy. It's healthy snack and it's very very easy. If you want to make it for kids, you can also add some cheese because kids love cheese and also cheese will help to bind your stuffing and mushroom together so meanwhile our mixture cools down I want to show you how to prepare our mushroom on the baking sheet I've got some cooking pan lined up with aluminium foil I'm going to spray some oil on top of it you can use any oil olive oil vegetable oil whatever you like so what I am doing is I am basically coating the bottom and also little bit edges with the oil and we are also kind of greasing over cookie sheet. I am using a, just a basic aluminium foil and kind of arrange these. So to my cool down mixture I am going to add some cheese. This will help in binding and also enhance the flavor if you are making it for kids. Cheese is encouraged otherwise it is optional you can skip it so I'm going to give it a mix and then we're going to stuff our mushrooms likewise I'm going to finish all the mushrooms so here are my mushrooms all stuffed up and going into the oven I'm going to bake it for about 8 minutes at 350 degree Fahrenheit and we'll check back once it is done let's check on these straight out of the oven look how delicious our mushroom is looking 
look at this beautiful creation it took us no time and we have a very unique jamilicious snack don't try to fill it with breadcrumbs or potato keep it simple whatever veggies you have it at home just saute those with basic spices and bake it as i did and it comes out awesome make it and surprise your friends and family do like and share this recipe thank you for watching bye bye